What's up YouTube? I'm going to do a quick in the bag video for you guys today. I uh, haven't done one uh, all summer. I think the last one I did was spring. Summer's almost over now so I figured I'd put uh, put out a quick in the bag video. I'll let you guys know what I've been throwing. Uh, I'm not going to be around a whole lot in September. i got a, a bunch of traveling I'm doing for some family stuff. So uh, yeah, I figured I'd get another little video out here now for you guys. Um, let's take a look at what I'm working with. I'm still rocking the Gateway Backpack Bag. Still totally love it. Great bag. Um, one unfortunate thing that's in my disc golf bag now is a knee brace because I've been having some issues with my right knee. I'm not super stoked on that, but it does seem to help. Give me that a little, a little extra uh, support. Seems to help. I think it's a combination of being on my feet for work and also uh, whatever pivoting on my onto my right foot to throw. Um, I got my SoFly in the bag. Um, haven't been using it all that much. I have used it for a few putts. It's definitely nicer than kneeling on the ground. Um, but at the same time, since I'm having that right knee issue, I'm kind of reluctant to throw from a knee right now unless it's totally my only option. Um, I've been kind of just making do without without that, even though I recommend it to you guys to try throwing from a knee. Uh, opens up a lot more windows sometimes. Let's talk about putters. Um, Right now, I just got two Envies in the bag for put for my putters. Um, I have some magnets and a couple other throwing putters, but for putting, I'm using this guy right now. It's a 165 soft Envy, gorgeous disc. Absolutely love this disc. A local uh, local guy did this die, and I bought it online. I bought it on Facebook, but it's actually from a local a local guy here in uh, Portland. It's just amazing. <laughs> How beautiful is that disc? Um, I hope to get a max weight soft envy and experiment with that as, as my putter because this one is just a little light. On if it got windy, it would probably cause me some issues. Great disc though. This is also the disc I've been throwing for the vast majority of my longer approaches and little forehand approaches out and around stuff. Uh, fantastic disc for that awesome disc. Um, I also have this guy, which I did a die on recently, but I've I've had for a while. Um, it's a regular NV, the one I reviewed when they originally came out. And I believe this one's 170 or so, 171, something like that. This one's more stable, um, so I'm using this one for approaches uh, right now and more stable putter drives, stuff like that. Um, I had been using Anode for a long time now. Well, this guy right here is the one I've been using most recently is Plasma. Um, but I'm just experimenting with taking it out of the bag so I can focus on just having a few Envies and uh, just kind of eliminate a mold because I keep adding these molds to my bag and it's kind of frustrating me. And the Envy is uh, very consistent as well on just a, a good disc. So I think overall if I approach and pot with the same mold I'll probably be more uh, more accurate overall so see how that goes I still got magnets in the bag this one super mangled beat up one of my favorite discs at this point um, only second to my other magnet that I've actually since retired since it's so sentimental to me and this one flies so similar this is uh, I use this disc for most of my short range up shots kind of like if I want to try to give it half a run I'll throw this guy and, and maybe it'll go in maybe it won't but usually it gets pretty close um, also a great disc for uh, f really flippy putter tee shots like uh, kind of hyzer flip turnovers that I'll start on hyzer they'll come out turn over and hold it all the way Great disc for that. Then I also have um, this soft magnet, which I'm not sure the, I'm not exactly sure the weight. Oh yeah, this one's like 168 or so. A little uh, similar weight to that other one, I think, but uh, this one's not as beat. So this one holds a dead straight line off the tee. I uh, really like it for like in the woods and stuff like that. Good disc. So those are my magnets. Another putter I have in the bag um, is the Harp. I got a soft harp. Love the feel of this disc. The plastic is just beautiful. It's so rubbery and grippy. I never feel like I have any issues with the grip whatsoever. It feels amazing in the hand. I love the flat top nature. And it's just ultra consistent, overstable disc. I love this disc for those kind of hyzer up shots, up shots that I want to sit and stick. And times where I really can't afford for it to flip over, I can throw this thing and it never flips on me whatsoever. So great, great disc. Also a good um, stable sidearm approach disc that I've been trying to work into my game. A couple other, uh, I got one more putter and then I think the next one's considered, definitely considered a mid-range. Um, 
I got the DX Cult. Um, I really like this one because it flies kind of like a mid-range. It's got a lot of speed and stability for a putter. Um, and it just goes dead straight. I don't, I don't have trouble with it flipping over. It holds a hyzer nicely, like a putter hyzer. And it's just a great disc to have in the bag for those times where I want to throw something straight down the line. And if it gets off path and I lose it, it's just a DX disc and I'm not that worried about it. Um, but great flyer. I like it off the tee a lot. That's pretty much all I use it for is tee shots. And then I also have been throwing, this will be a review that I'm coming out with relatively soon, hopefully, is the Condor. Super old school giant disc. I mean, let's to illustrate that I can show you that I've been keeping them with the Colt inside the Condor in my bag, which is nice because it doesn't take up any more space. I can keep these two discs in my bag with the same exact amount of space as just the, just the Colt or just the Condor. So that's pretty sweet. And this thing just flies awesome. It's got so much. It's got such a big, I mean, you can see it's got like kind of like that old school kind of like beadless rock almost shape. And uh, it just flies fantastic. I love the slow glidey flights I get out of it. And uh, it doesn't want to flip over on me too much. It holds a little like smooth mid-range hyzer really nice. And it's got glide for days. I'm really enjoying it. It's a fun disc. Um, and uh, again, it's seven dollar disc if i if i lose it if it gets too beat in i go grab another one i like that and uh yeah cool disc condor look for the review on that guy on to my other mid-ranges probably the ones i've been throwing the most these days are wombats not a lot of people throw wombats um jerry miller at disc golf depot told me he's had he has a lot of trouble selling them nobody's really buying the wombats maybe because they have kind of a goofy name I, who knows they're just like an unknown newer mold i love the wombat this thing is my g-star one is uh, 175 um really flippy very understable disc this one's broken in really fast but i like it because it basically flies like my really flippy magnet um but mid-range style so it's a great uh turnover disc for me also just like standstill hyzer flips it stands up and it has so much glide that it really works uh works really well for like up approaches where i need a little bit more distance than a putter but i want to throw on like a really straight kind of flippy line uh, also, fantastic woods type disc. The Wombat just works so nice and a great tailwind disc. And I also throw the Champion Wombat in the bag. This one's um, pretty much just as stable, if not maybe a, a little bit more stable as the G Star was, brand new. And I think it's going to hold that for much longer. Um, so I like this one just to, if I want to put a little bit more heat on it. And it's just not quite as flippy, but it just glides for days, and I, I really like it. So wombats are, are doing a lot of work for me these days. Um, I have uh, my Axis in the bag still. Oh, losing some butters, losing some drivers. Uh, I have the Axis in the bag still. This Eclipse one is the one I've been carrying the most. Um, I do sometimes carry my first run still, but uh, I've been throwing the wombats instead of this one a lot, so I haven't been carrying it too often. Um, this guy is still my go-to straight stable kind of uh just flat flat shot hyzer you know mid-range disc that i know it's just going to go straight have a little bit finished to the left and it still has a ton of glide so i really love that this eclipse axis great disc i got my my buddy devin throwing one of those and he's been having so much success with it he loves it on to some drivers i got the jade um this one for me is just a really great tailwind disc, finesse disc. It doesn't want to flip over on me and hold it. It just wants to kind of flip up and ride, and it generally comes back. I don't think I've ever had it completely turn over on me unless it was just a super shank and I ripped it over, or, you know, rolled my wrist or something like that. If I hyzer flip this thing smooth, it goes dead straight. It glides for a long way, and uh, it's a really great disc. If I'm feeling like my arm's a little bit weak that day, I'll end up throwing this one a lot because it just, uh, I know what it's going to do. It's just a real straight flyer, and the nice glide it has and the lightweight nature. I think it's 100, 150, maybe 155 or something like that. 152. Um, I know that it's just going to glide really straight. Uh, so it's a really awesome disc. Any of you guys that are out there, or ladies, anybody out there who have, uh, you know, you don't have a huge arm, check out a Jade. I think you'll really like that disc. Um, on to my Volts. So I got two Volts in the bag. Um, Pink one, really flippy. This is this is now the most understable disc in my bag. I use this for all my turnover shots. 
and uh, hyzer flip kind of shots. I don't use it for tailwind because that's what I like the jade for. Uh, MVP stuff just does not seem to work well in tailwind for me ever. Um, but this one is a great turnover disc and just like hyzer flip straight line finesse disc. This one's always been a little bit more stable. So I use this one for more of like a smooth hyzer flip that'll just hold the hyzer and finish left. Um, good disc for that. It'll still pop up flat and ride for a long way, but it'll uh, always seem to come back or just finish straight. It doesn't like to flip over on me too much. Um, Proton Inertias. Love these discs. These were and still probably are my go-to drivers. Um, I've been having a little bit of issue with them flipping more than I want them to lately. Could be part of uh, some changes in my form that I've been working on. I'm trying to pull a disc closer to my body. It's creating a little bit more uh, snap and, and uh, yeah, still great discs though. And uh, I absolutely love them. They feel great in the hand. They glide forever. They're ultra straight. This one is like, I think this one's 162, this one's 165. So they're both very similar. This one is more understable. Um, just just by a little bit and this one is just a little bit uh, less stable but they both are really really straight line flyers and they get me a, a bunch of distance for sure they were the farthest flying disc in my bag they still probably are given the right throw um, but I've been throwing other other stuff for most of my distance shots which I'll show you in a second um, I got this Pro D Force I like to keep this guy in the bag 150 class Pro D Force Similar to what I talked about with the Condor and the Colt, um, where I just want to have a disc that I know what it's going to do. And if I lose it, I lose it, and I go back to the Disc Golf Depot, 7 bucks, and I get a new one, and it's cycled in. And since these start out relatively stable, even given the fact that it's 150 grams, since it's pretty stable, um, it holds use for a long time. Even when these break in... I can still get good good flights out of them. They still generally want to finish back to the left, even if I get them flipped over. Um, it will still kind of fight out, you know, unless I really try to flip them over. But if I'm throwing hyzer flips, they stay consistent for quite a long time. And since I don't really throw them that much, um, they also hold hold their flights for a while. Probably my favorite disc for a big high um, hyzer shot. Because the lightweight lets me throw it up in the air easily, but the overstable nature it always wants to finish in on that hyzer when you throw it up real high. Great disc. Um, these are the discs that I've been throwing for a lot of distance and just just for their consistency mostly these days um, for hyzers and straight shots that finish left are the Trespass. This one I've had for a long time. This is also probably the disc I'll go to if I'm throwing into a light headwind. With my hyzer flip throwing style, I can throw somewhat flippier stuff into the wind. A, I don't have a lot of wind in here, out here in Oregon that I play in too often. And I can just put it on a stronger hyzer. It'll pop up and ride and usually still does pretty well for me into, into the wind. Um, but that being said, I've just been throwing this one for max distance because I know I can put pretty much everything I have on it and it will never really flip over completely it'll just flip up ride and come back and uh, holds a hyzer extremely well really great disc love the trespass so I bought this one just the other day it's another somewhat opaque lucid trespass this one's 172 my yellow one's 170 um, but this one pretty much flies right around the same maybe a little bit more stable even though it actually has more nicks and stuff on the outside rim um, a couple extra grams maybe, but they're real similar and I like that. I just wanted to have a couple of them. I got a good deal on this one, so good disc. Finally, last but certainly not least, especially in terms of stability, is my Lucid Felon. It's a uh, Sparkle Lucid Felon. Spin die on it I think came out really good. Matches the stamp. Beautiful disc. Um, just meat hook over stable, short range disc for me. It's kind of like the harp, but longer. Um, I can throw it as hard as I want. There's no flip out of it whatsoever. Um, the most I can get out of it is to get it to hold straight for a little while and then finish left. Um, I mostly use it for uh, dog legs, out and around stuff, uh, get out of trouble shots. It's a great forehand roller disc. I got my first ever forehand roller. Um, birdie off a tee. I've never gotten birdie with a four. Well, I, honestly, I don't think I've ever really thrown too many forehand rollers off the tee, but I threw one at MacGyver the other day, 
and I had a drop in um, with this guy so it's a really great disc for that it holds the line nicely and uh, skips quite well so I'll use it um, kind of out and around stuff to try to skip up in towards the bucket so that's my little in the bag video for you guys long winded as always but if you don't no to expect that by now i don't know what to tell you um thank you so much for all the support guys hopefully you keep the channel chugging along as it's been uh keep my reviews going uh look for my review on the condor soon i'll probably do another super class review um similar kind of old school disc that hopefully you guys will dig that and i got some other stuff in the works so thanks very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon bye